All right. <coughs> all right. Shalawam, shalawam. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to give out all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Bakafudash. And we'd like to give out double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And I'm much blessed to you, brothers, out the labor with the truth and the sincerity. Okay? We're out here again in the highways and the byways and to put aside the downfall of Esau's kingdom, okay, uh, the destruction of America, uh, 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 the, dest uh, the destruction of uh, NATO in the EU, okay, uh, salvation to the uh, one third of our people, okay, destruction to the two third of our own people, okay, because the Lord commanded us to go out in the highways and the byways and to preach them, okay? This is where the wisdom is supposed to be supposed to bring out when you get understanding of the scriptures, this is where you're supposed to be uh, 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 prophesying man, to bring out understanding to the people, okay? Uh, uh, where people can see you, man, all right? Okay, yeah, get that, and then I, somebody get Luke 14, and uh, Proverbs 8, uh, Proverbs the first chapter, uh, let's get Luke, Luke 14, and I'll, I'll tell you in a second uh, the actual verse, okay? Read that. It's uh, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay, the Lord, the eyes of the Heavenly Father are upon the sinful kingdom. Okay, and today, what's the sinful kingdom? Uh, beginning of America, number one. Okay, all the dwelling places of the Edomites, man. Okay, because scripture says Edom is going to be the border of wickedness. So everywhere they go, what they do is they bring down the wickedness. Alright, if you go to Ezekiel, the, uh, the, uh, the, the 35th chapter, it tells you to prophesy against Mount Seir. Okay? That's why we're out here in the, uh, in the highways and the byways to, uh, to, to, to let the people know uh, what the Lord's plans are. Man. Okay? Because the people in the world, they're walking about, walking by, and making their own plans, and none of them are considering what does God want to do on this planet earth, man. What does the Bible say about the future of this of uh, everybody on the planet Earth? But the Lord has His servants here to let all these people know, man. All right, but they are blinded to who the men of the Lord are. They are blinded to the prophecies, man. They all claim they believe in the Bible, but once you go into the Bible to say the Lord is going to come and destroy this place up, That's right. they don't believe you, man. All right, someone can look at uh, 14 and uh, got it. That uh, the from, uh, just take the point from, uh, yes. Saving not that I will not utterly Slaki. Saving not Slaki. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay, the Lord is not gonna utterly destroy the house of Jacob because he's gonna preserve the one third. He's, he's gonna destroy uh, the two faiths of our people. Because the two faiths of our people are not going to return back to the Heavenly Father. They're going to carry on doing what, uh, uh, going about their business and following after these wicked ways. Okay, two faiths of our people are not considering that the Lord has prepared the kingdom for them. Okay? No, I'm not telling you. So that's why we are out here in the highways and the byways for them to, to let them know. Okay, get their eyes, their eyes of your teachers. Get that. This is Luke. 14 and 23 and the Lord said unto the servant to go out into the highways and to the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled Luke 14 and 23 and the Lord said unto the servant go out into the highways and the hedges this, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the commandment uh, that the Lord gave us, our shine, to go out to the highways and the edges, okay, in the streets, man, where people can see us, okay, because if you're in your house somewhere, first of all, if you're in your house, a prophesying in your house, who's gonna see you, man, in your house, man, okay, who's gonna see you, man, in the highways and the byways, 
everybody that walks by is able to see to see you and to hear what you're saying okay the busy places of the streets man you get people from all kinds of nations out here man there's shops the reason why the businesses are set up in the highways and the byways is they get they make more money this is where the people are okay and the lord's money as well is supposed to be traded out here in the highways and the byways where the people are man okay so when you wake up to this truth the one thing you're supposed to consider is to start going out in the highways and the byways all right uh, is that all? and compel them to and compel them to come in that my house may be filled and compel them to come in that my house be, uh, may be filled man. okay who's gonna fill up the house of the lord the elect man. okay they are the ones that are gonna take to the lord and uh take it man. all right but the rest of Israel, they're going to be destroyed in this place. Uh, problem with the F chapter. Okay, problem with the F chapter. Problem with one. It's problem. Eight and one. It's Proverbs 8. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth a voice? Does wisdom cry and understanding put forth a voice? Basically, is there people there to give you the understanding, man? To give you wisdom? Okay, and the answer is they are there, man. They are out here in the highways and the byways. Alright, go ahead. She standeth in the top of the high places, but away in the places of the paths. She standeth in the top of the high places, man, like here, London King's Cross, where we are, man. Do you know how many people walk by every hour, man? Okay? We have a, a, train, a busy train station here. We have a, it's so busy that they put two McDonald's here, man. You see? There's a McDonald's right here, and there's a McDonald's right here, man. Two same companies, that put two shops here, man. That's how busy this place is. Okay? And that's why the Lord, that's why the Lord uh, said to go and proclaim it, uh, the wisdom understanding, man. To go and prophesy. To go and look for the elect in those places. All right? Verse 3, she crieth at the gates, the angel of the city, at the covenant, at the doors. In the ancient time, the gates and the covenant of the city, those were the busiest places of the city. Okay? Because you had people going in and out of the city all the time. You had people trading at the gates of the city. You had the temple, the temple to be another busy place in the city. Around the temple, the entrance of the temple, and then you had the gates where people were trading. The rulers of the city were always at the gate. When they saw people coming in from outside the city, if they did not recognize them, they would question them, where are you from? Are you from this town? Okay, so the gates were the openings of the city. That's where you had the majority of the traffic. Okay, the majority of the people, man. And this is why, that's where the Lord sent his prophets also, to go and uh, 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 prophesy to those people on those gates, in those busy places. Okay, go ahead. Verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. You say, unto you, O men, I call, man. Okay, because the Lord is gathering the men, the men of Israel. Okay, the elect. Okay. I'll get over it. Whatever it is. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 20 Wisdom crieth without She uttereth her voice in the streets She crieth in the chief place of concourse You hear that? Wisdom crieth without She uttereth her voice in the streets Okay? That's why the Lord commanded us to go man, In the highways and the byways Okay? To, to, uh, to give people understanding Okay? In the streets He says in the chief what? Read that again She crieth in the chief place of concourse. In the chief place of concourse, would you? That means the busiest place, man. Okay. Okay. In the busiest places of the city, man. The chief place of concourse. Okay. In the marketplaces. All right. That's why the Lord set up His understanding, man. Go ahead, you know. 
in the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates, again, like I said earlier on, those were very busy places of the city. All right, go ahead. In the, si in the city, she utter her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? See, in the city, she uttered the words. We are in the city, in the cheap place of Congo, the busy places of the city. Okay? The highways and the byways. And that's why you see every Saturday, some brothers do it on Friday, and some brothers do it. Majority of the camps are, 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 are on the Saturday. Okay? If you go on, our, if you, on YouTube, you go on the live streams, you're gonna see, if you subscribe to an old Hebrew Israelite camps on the Saturday, man, you're gonna see there's a lot of live streams going around. Man. Why? Because that's the, that's the day everybody goes out in the highways and the byways. Okay? Something that the Heavenly Father commanded us to do. Okay? I don't know any other scriptures because in the highways and the byways. That's Tim of you, no? And scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? That's to you, Israelites, man. Okay? To you, Jack, out there, man. How long are you going to love being simple, man? Alright? Because the Heavenly Father has made you kings and priests, man. The Heavenly Father has given you laws, statutes, and commandments to go by. Okay? But how long are you going to keep on being simple? Keep on being niggas. The brother sent, uh, sent me a video of some guy. Was you that it, right? Of some guy with a whole lobster. <laughs> what was that, man? Yeah. Abomin abominable food, man. He's there stuffing his mouth with it. Okay? When the scriptures instruct you yeah. on what kind of food you should eat. Okay? Because the scriptures, matter of fact, are the same Proverbs. Uh, the first chapter, I'll read. Uh, read. Uh, do, do the. Make like a, some type of a, like, let's see, it's a good one, man. It's not there, it's not there. Just a point, no walking, I'm not going to come back. Okay, so I can read, uh, jump up to, uh, something in the top of the first place. It's uh, Proverbs, the book of Proverbs 1 and 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. To perceive the words of understanding. The Heavenly Father has given men to give you the words of to, to give you understanding of the scriptures. Okay? For, where is that? To, so that you know how to carry yourself man, as a people. Man. Because as a people, the Israelites, you we are never supposed to just do whatever the hell we want, man. Okay? We had, we had guidance. We had scriptures, man. We had, we had things to follow in the Bible of how to conduct ourselves, the foods to eat, how to deal with, uh, with, uh, with other men in the city, the, uh, uh, our brothers, how to deal with our women, how to deal with our animals, how to deal with our land. We had instructions, man. Matter of fact, hold, uh, hold that somebody get a uh, of you. Uh, somebody hold Deuteronomy 4 and 5. I'll be that against like So the Proverbs 1 and 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom. To receive the instructions of wisdom. There's men out there that are there to give you the instructions of wisdom, man. Okay, an Israelite man was supposed to have a beard on his face, man. Those were our, 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 our laws, our customs, man. Okay? You, you, you couldn't go in Israel and you see a fully grown man with a shaven face, man. That, would, that, that man would be likened like a heathen, man. Okay? Those, there's a story of King David when say, hey, man, they got grabbed up and they had their beards shaven by force. Back in David, told them not to come into their city, to 
into the city until their beards grew back. Man. That's how serious that was. Okay? So those were, because if they went back with their beards half shaved, I mean, other guys would have, people growing up, they would have seen that and said, maybe we can do it too, man. So they left no room, no room at all uh, 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 for that sort of thing at all, man. Every Israelite man would have to have a beard on their face. If you look at the ancient painting, paintings of our people, you will see that the way you, you uh, like uh, the ones of the Egyptians, when they, the way, the way they dif 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 differentiated the, the Egyptians and the Israelites was they drew the Israelites with beards on their face. And the Egyptians were clean shaven and they had, you know, they had this uh, hair at the top and then they were both in other parts of their, of, 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 of their head. Which all those things, we didn't do those things. You let your hair grow naturally and your beard naturally. Yeah, I was also accustomed with the drinks to shave off their hair. Yeah, you know. Uh, and this is why we're here to give you to give you back your understanding. To give you back our ways, man. Okay? To clothe you correctly, man. Alright? To give you back your nationality. That's what the men of the Lord are supposed to be doing, man. But two faiths of you are not gonna take it. Right. So, so Genesis 41 and 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. And they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came unto the Pharaoh. You see, because they, what they want to look like an Egyptian. So they brought, you know, just like uh, in the in the book of Daniel, they had to teach uh, before they went before uh, the kings. They had to teach them the, uh, the ways of uh, of uh, the Babylonians. Okay, so it was those kings they desired the men to look like uh, they, they desired Joseph to look like an Egyptian man all shaven and everything but the hebrew customer was going to have a beard man that was a hebrew thing to do all right i'll go back uh go back who's looking at the world before proverbs one and three to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity to give subtlety to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion. To give subtlety to the simple and the young man knowledge and discretion. Okay? To teach you how to carry yourself, man. Okay? Because right now we are in Israel's kingdom, so you gotta learn how to be subtle in this kingdom. Okay? You gotta learn how to work with these heathens without you uh, without you giving into their ways, man. Okay? And that's why all of you know we got jobs now we are able to keep our beards, man. If the guy, if, they, if our jobs, they tell us we got to start shaving our beards, we can look for another job. Alright? Because you have to be subtle in this wicked kingdom. Alright? And wisdom gives you all those things, man. Okay? Uh, where are you? This one? Verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel, counsel. A wise man will hear and increase learning. Okay? And that's what you're supposed to do, I man. A lot of you, man. A lot of you, man, you know, you, two years in, man, you're still too poor, man. All right? Two years in, you're still shaping your beards up. Okay? That just shows you, you know, why it's in the beginning, man. A lot of brothers, as soon as they heard, uh, you're not supposed to eat pork according to the Bible, that was it, man. They didn't just start stuff again. As soon as they found out you're not supposed to get lined up, that was it, man. They didn't get lined up ever again. Okay? All those things, man, that they did in the world, they threw that all out, man, to obtain to, uh, to, to become righteous, man. To follow the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father. Alright? Because we do have instructions, man. The Heavenly Father gave us the laws, such as commandments, and He told us that was the best wisdom that any, that was the best wisdom that, that we had than any other wisdom in this whole world. All right? This is Proverbs uh, chapter four. It says, hear ye children, the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. So 
basically, man, these the, the words in these scriptures are words of life, man. If we was to, if the whole, like I always say, if the whole planet was to adhere to the words of the scriptures, man, everyone would be living sweet. We'll be drinking clean water, we'll be um, eating clean food, our children will be raised correctly, you know. Um, like to see what the brother was saying about the video I put on the, on the, um, on the WhatsApp, man. This, you, you had a nigga sitting there eating shrimp, man. And there's a reason why the Lord, and this, and this goes back to the laws, man. There's a reason why the Lord gave us these, these laws. You know, those are unclean foods, man. Not just because of um, Yahweh Shai said so, but they're actually unclean foods. The, uh, the, the lobster and the shrimp and the, and the mussels and all that sort of food that these people love eating. That's all unclean food. It, it contains parasitic um, elements, man. Exactly. They're bottom feeders, you know what I'm saying? So, um, just going back into this again. Uh, it says, uh, he told me also, he said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live, man. So the commandments are life. And that's the bottom line. And that's, and that's what we're supposed to return back to, man. Because before science, because even the, even the so-called scientists, they understand that all these things, the bottom feeders of the sea, they understand that those things are not good for eating. Okay? The shrimp, whatever, those are cockroaches for the sea, man. All right? Crabs and all that, man. Those are uh, spiders and cockroaches for the sea. And they understand, they really understand that you're not supposed to be eating those things. Before their sciences can prove, the Lord already gave us uh, the understanding. All right? Everybody, really, the, the, the people have I read an article uh, that shows you that pork is not really good for you to eat. It's got, it's got parasites in it, man. Regardless of how, uh, of how, uh, how much temperature that you keep it on. The jerk is so stupid that you better okay, wipe and boil it at a thousand degrees and kill all the parasites. That's jerk attitude, man. Because the scriptures talk about who can make a king for king, and that's not talking about food, but it can pertain to that, man. Because the Lord made those things unclean to eat. Yeah, so you can't, can't pray over them yeah. things, man. You make them unclean, like the Christian church tells you. You can't just pray over pork and all of a sudden it's got no parasites. The Lord made it that way. It's not to be eaten, man. You know, like, so like, um, you know when you go back to um, the old times when people used to eat uh, the shrimps and the, and, the, and, the, and the mussels and the clams and all the oysters and that. That was a poor man's food. Yeah. Now they've tried to make it out to be a delicacy. Yeah. So you look all tricked into oh, it. They used to have to be a poor man's food. Well, that was like oysters and things are slave Yeah, because I remember the guy from Congo, he told me they just, those oysters, they just always lying on the ocean yeah. by the beach. So they just go and grab the bar with that raw, just in their mouth. That's what they were doing, man. It's just lying on the beach free, man. So 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. You Israelites, you are under the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. Okay? You can eat whatever the hell you want to eat, man. Okay? You can just do whatever the hell you want to do. That's why we went to slavery, man. Because we're just doing whatever the hell you want. we wanted to do, man. Okay? Okay? This is why we are in the, in the situation that we're in, man. Okay? If we had kept the laws, that's the commandments, in the beginning, the way the Lord told us to keep them, we would have never been in this situation. So we finish it off. What my job? So back in Proverbs 4, it says, um, uh, Proverbs 4 and 5, it says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. It says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. You see, wisdom is the principal thing. We're supposed to, because in the churches, man, you see, they, they, they've got uh, thousands and thousands of people that attend them churches every day, man. One church will have like uh, maybe 20,000 people, those mega churches. But how many of them actually are, are get understanding, man? Okay? Because scripture says the things in the Bible is supposed to understand those things. That's what's gonna separate the elect and everybody else in the world. How to understand them. Alright? The correct way of how to break down the scriptures. Okay? It's not you're not gonna come to the Lord and say, I want to change every Sunday. But you don't you don't know that the Heavenly Father only came for the Israelites. 
you don't know that men are supposed to have a beard on their face. Yes, yeah, sure, okay. Okay? Yeah. Like you're not supposed to commit adultery. Okay? Like you're not supposed to be eating shrimp, lobsters, and any of that stuff. You, you, don't, you don't know any of those things, man. Okay? That's why a lot of you, you have Bibles in your house, you've had a Bible for five years, and it's nice and clean. Yeah, well, it's collecting dust. Yeah. Hey, just collecting <laughs> dust, man. Nice and crystal clean, man. Because you know, a, 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 when you buy a, book, a Bible, yeah. when you first open it, it's hard to open the pages. Until after a, a few uses, then it's now just, you know, it's just open now. Man. A lot of you, five years later, your Bible is too hard to open the pages, man. You see? Just collecting dust because why you don't get understanding, man. There's no, there's no wisdom in them churches. I'm just going to say one quick thing. Because the scripture says in Proverbs, this boy says, Envy, envy now not thy oppressor, choose none of his ways, man. And, and the oppressor's ways are death, man. That's why, that's why you got these niggas eating pork and, that, and um, doing all these uh, shows where they eat, sitting there being gluttonous, eating all these, all these uh, uh, abominable foods, man. It's because they're copying these other nations, man. And uh, because Jack, to Jack, everything is really a comedy show, man. You know, he's, he's got the camera on, he's stuffing his faces with lobster tails, with his sauces, and, mmm, <coughs> oh, you know? That's your niggas' problem, man. You just want to be like everybody else, man. You don't even realize that you're supposed to be above everybody else. You're not copying their foolishness. And that's why a lot of people are going to die. A lot of people, scripture say, if the Lord had not left us a small remnant, would have been as Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Would have all been destroyed already, man. Okay? I'll get your perception. Like yeah, but it says, in the book of Sirach 5 and 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put, up, it's like, yeah, put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's for you guys, the, the ones that you of you that have come across our videos, that have come across us in the highways, in the byways, you're not supposed to wait any as soon as as soon as you come across us, man, that, that's it for you, man. That's you being taken by the Lord. You're supposed to stay to the Lord then. Okay? At those moments, then you're supposed to come because we really don't have time for you to go finish doing what you wanted to do in the world and then now you come to, uh, come to the understanding in the last minute. We don't have time for that, man. The door is almost about to close, man. That's right. All right? I get up this episode that uh, I can... Uh... Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord Jehovah Shem Yahweh my power commanded me. That's to the Israelites. Moses left us statutes, uh, judgments, okay, from the Heavenly Father, right? Go ahead. That you should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Go ahead. Verse 6, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. You see that? that was, we had laws, statutes, and commandments uh, that we were supposed to keep. That, was, that, was, that made us different from all these other nations, man. okay? All these other nations, man, they were, you know, was no big adultery. If some of the scriptures, you know, you, some, some nations, they had sense to know not to do those things. Okay, but they were eating whatever they, were, they, whatever they wanted to eat. They were sacrificing their children for our, uh, uh, towards idols. They were worshipping the moon, the sun. Okay? But us, we had the law, and we had, we had, we had, and we had the, the laws that the commandments separated us from the other nations. All right, and it says, go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. We shall hear all these statutes and say, you know what? Those guys, their way is the best way, okay? But the only problem is Israel, when we, because the Lord, uh, if, you, if you go in the book of Judges, it tells you the Lord left all these other nations around us to try us, man. And what did Jack do? Every single time they would look at what they, the ways of the other nations, and then they will follow their, they, they'll follow them instead. Okay? We we'll follow, we we'll start worshiping their gods, following their customs. Okay? And that was the problem with Jack, man. That's why constantly we kept on going into slavery, man. The whole book of Judges is nothing about us fucking up and going to slavery. And the Lord sent the deliverer. The deliverer. We fucked up. As soon as we had a little bit of security, we fucked up again. We followed the other nation again. And then the Lord sent us into slavery. I just shows you, you Negroes, 
you are the Israelites of the Bible, man. Okay? You coming off of slavery was a curse from the people of the Bible. The chosen people of the Lord. That's how you identify them, man. Oh, those people that were in slavery. Those, it's like the people of the Bible. Okay? Uh, is there more that? Oh, no, just not. Verse 7. For what nation is there so great? You have the most high, so nigh unto them. Yeah. As the Lord Jehovah showed me our shy, our power is in all things. You see? That we call up that we call upon him for for. Did I guess like For what nation is there so great? You have the you have the most high, so nigh unto them. As the Lord Jehovah showed me our shy, our power is in all things. That we call upon him for. Exactly, I man. What nation out there is like us, man? That the, the Heavenly Father is with them. Okay, but right now, because of our conditions, and then because Jake did not show the fruits of keeping the law that time, so this time period now, when the Lord changes us, gives us new bodies, when we can keep the laws 100%, and gives us back our kingdom, these other nations, that's exactly, they're gonna say that now. All right? Now they're gonna wanna keep the laws, they're gonna wanna follow us and keep our ways. Right now they're offering after America the so-called white man. They are following, they're following their ways. Okay, they are following his education system, uh, his version of Christianity. Okay? That's why everybody is, is following after uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter tells you, is it 17? Where everybody wandered after the, the great hope. Okay, uh, Isaiah's in the chapter. But when we get set up again this time, when we go back to keeping our laws, such and commandments 100%, then these nations are going to come to us and say, yeah, man, you are the people of the Lord. Okay? Okay, Mr. Benga. So, ex Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Exodus 19 and 6 And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So we shall be a kingdom of priests and kings, man. Really, man, you know, to a certain degree we were at that time, but this time now it's going to be fully implemented now, man. After when the Lord comes and delivers us from this place. Then it's going to make us a kingdom get that in Revelation, the fifth chapter. Is it the fifth chapter? Or the seventh? Uh, five and ten. Uh, uh, Suffer my uh, nine. So, uh, Re Revelation five and nine, and they sung a new song, saying, "Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by the blood of every kindred and tongue and people and nation." That's talking about Israelites. Israelites were the ones that were redeemed out of these many uh, uh, many uh, kindreds, tongues and peoples, man. Alright, uh, to prove that, uh, Deuteronomy 30, and uh, some people talk, somebody else did that. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Revelation 5 and 9 And they sung a new song saying Thou art worthy